and welcome back and welcome to a new backpacking trip if you don't know who i am my name is katie i am a solo female backpacker in her 30s and i arrived yesterday to my 27th country which is panama if you can't tell i am very shiny it is so hot here holy moly um I know it's hot in Florida, but it's been cooler there recently, so coming into this has been a bit brutal, but I'm here at my hostel. I'm in Panama City. I'm actually here for probably a lot longer than most people would stay here, but it's because I'm taking Spanish classes next week, so I'm here for a while. So anyway, today I slept in just a little and then I went running, which was a mistake to sleep in because it was so hot. But anyway, now I'm going to go down and eat real quick and then I'm going to head out into the historic district to walk around, take a look, see everything. I also need to get a metro card and for the buses and a sim card for my phone because right now I just have an eSIM with one gig and I just want something a little bit... Um, that's gonna last me the entire time. I'm here in Panama for at least a month, might be a little bit longer. But anyway, I'm also vlogging on a new camera, so hopefully the settings are right, but we will see. <laughs> So I hopped into an Uber and I headed over to the Albrook area to the actually the train bus station there. I went and got my local SIM card and also my Metro card for the week. And then I actually headed on to the Metro train. So they have the buses, but they also have a small train Metro system. It is expanding, but it's still a relatively new system in Panama City. But it was really, really nice. Um, probably one of the nicest Metro trains I've been on in all of my travels. So definitely recommend just checking it out even if you just want to ride it from end to end. And then I headed over to the Casco Viejo neighborhood. This is kind of the main historic district. It's also where my Spanish school was and it's where a lot of the tourists go. But I popped into the Metropolitan Church just to check it out. It is really pretty. I mean, it's definitely not like the churches in Europe by any means, but very, very gorgeous. The altarpiece was just stunning and it's worth getting inside for a couple minutes to get out of the heat. All right, so not sure if you can hear me because of the wind, but I just went into the cathedral. I can't remember the name right now. I'll put it on the screen. But yeah, I went in there. I can't think it's so hot. I cannot illustrate how hot it is here. Um, but yeah, it was beautiful. And then I'm in the Casa Viejo area right now, which is kind of like the touristy area. It's kind of the historic district. So I'm gonna walk around going to see where my Spanish school is and then um, honestly probably gonna go back to the hostel because it is hot and I need air conditioning so anyway uh, that's why I really haven't checked in because I am just adjusting to the heat but anyway let's go explore the neighborhood here I'll insert some facts and then we're gonna go back and relax for the evening so then I walked over to the Iglesia de San Jose, which is the Church of San Jose, and it dates back to 1673, and it's most famous for its massive golden altar that actually survived pirate raids in 1671. A lot of people, or what it was said is that the altar was made of pure gold, but it's actually gold leaf, and it's mahogany that's covered in this gold leaf but it is absolutely beautiful but the crowning jewel in my opinion is if you go to kind of like the back area they have this massive and when i say massive i mean it takes up the entire room massive nativity scene it is definitely worth checking out for a few minutes i mean i think i was there for about 20 minutes just seeing all the various bible scenes and even if you're not super religious it's really cool and just kind of impressive to see honestly and i like i said definitely recommend checking it out and you know it's free and you're out of the sun so it is definitely worth it then I headed over just to kind of walk around a bit. I found where my Spanish school was. And then I went to La Calle de los Sombreros, uh, which is a street basically with of hats. And it was really cute. Great place for Instagram photos if you want that. And then I headed back to my hostel. And then the next day, I decided to go on a little hike. <laughs> Saturday and I 
am out today on a little hike. I'm at the Metropolitan Park here and they have a little visitor center and it's four dollars to enter and there's all these hiking trails that you can see all sorts of wildlife and there's also a great viewpoint so we're gonna spend a few the next few hours exploring and seeing what we see but i'm really excited even though it's very hot i'm very excited to see what animals we see i love hiking it's one of my favorite things to do when i travel so without further ado let's get into the hiking so this talks about the migrating the migration of the birds so they travel over 3,000 kilometers between Ohio and Panama, which is insane. I can't believe birds can do that. That's so cool. Nature's so cool. So the Metropolitan Natural Park is located a little bit outside of the city, but it's not too far. You can take a couple buses. And the park is built up with many different trails. It's kind of like a trail system. Um, but you can get really stunning views of the city, so I definitely recommend it. You can also see the Panama Canals, kind of. Um, it'll come up here in a moment. But, like I said, very beautiful. It's not that much to go in, and I definitely recommend if you have a day just to check it out. Because it is just, it was one of my favorite things in Panama City, I think. So these are the different hiking trails here. This is the approximate time. It should take but I find that I'm going through it a lot quicker um, so you know I guess it depends on if you're stopping and whatnot but I've done it quicker even though I've had to stop to respond to a couple emails but you start here and then you could take this trail which I did or you could take this trail which I accidentally did because I got here I went back and I was like oh wait so this is easier, this is a little bit more up and down. And then I took this trail all the way up to the top. And then now I'm gonna take this trail, Sandra La Cienoguita, I can't really read that. Um, and then I'm just gonna take this trail back down here. And then there's this one, I might do that loop. It says it's fairly easy, so anyway. That is the trail system if you're curious. And I think I said, but it was $4 for foreigners to get in. I think it's a dollar for local residents and anyone who lives in Panama. I don't remember how much it was for kids, but anyway, that is the route. It is very hot. Make sure you bring lots of water because it is very hot. But now I'm gonna head down there and go. Yeah. That's it. So, um, like I said, it's really nice here. Um, it's just hot, so make sure you bring lots of water. I would definitely recommend coming here in the morning. Uh, I got here at about 10 o'clock. Should've gotten here a little earlier. I wanna say it opens at 8.30, but with the shade, it's not too bad, but it's when you get into the sun, it gets really bad and I feel like I'm the only one sweating <laughs> I don't know if it's TMI but I feel like I'm sweating so much and no one else is <laughs> so maybe I just have a problem but anyway we are heading down the trail here I'm gonna head back and then I might go to a soccer game tonight I'm not or football I'm not a hundred percent sure not 100% sure yet. Um, I'm gonna see how I feel when I get back and respond to the person who was asking if anyone was interested to see if they're still gone. If not, I'm just gonna chill at the hostel. But anyway, let's continue on with the great old hiking adventure. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned this, but the trails are labeled like easy to moderate. I would say a lot of them are this gravelly material. There are definitely some uphills, but it's on asphalt. So it's not too difficult, honestly. Um, so if you have like relatively okay fitness, you can do it. I've seen children do it, like young, young children. So, you know, take that what you will. To get here wasn't too bad. You could take a bus. Um, it's the cheapest. It was a quarter on your Metro card. 
Um, I went from the center near my hostel, so central Panama City. Uh, basically, I just took any bus that said it was going to Alton Mall uh, or to Alton and got off, put this bus stop here, and then it was a short walk into the visitor center. And yeah, I mean, you can also Uber. I don't know how much it's going to be. I'll look it up, but it shouldn't be too expensive. Ubers aren't terribly expensive here, but yeah. Um, I definitely recommend coming out here. Just definitely bring water and definitely come for sale. I'm actually done with my visit, but uh, I was here at the New Portes Visitor Center where you can see an IMAX film which explains the building of the canal and why it happened and how it works and then also you can actually see the canal, see the locks. So that was pretty cool. Um, I'm putting this in the beginning, but then I'm going to show you the actual Visitor Center. Um, part of it was closed due to construction, so I didn't get to see all that. But it's okay, um, I'll do a little voiceover to explain it more. I actually had to go catch a bus, so I wanna make sure I don't miss it. But anyway, yeah, the Panama Canal, it's one of the seven wonders of the modern world. So, pretty cool. And I can check that off my list. So anyway, definitely come here. It is so hot though, so just you know, be aware of that. But anyway, I'm gonna head out now, go back to my hostel and I'll catch up with y'all later. The Miraflores Visitor Center is the main place in Panama City to see the canal. Now, if you don't care about the IMAX film that is narrated by Morgan Freeman, and it is pretty good, but if you don't really care about that and you wanna avoid some crowds, I will put a location down in the description of another place you can go. You can Uber there, just tell your Uber driver to go there. But for the purposes of this video, I will give you a little bit of history about the Panama Canal real quick. So the Panama Canal is an 82 kilometer or 51 mile waterway in Panama that connects the Atlantic Ocean to the Pacific Ocean. And it helps greatly reduce the amount of time it takes for boats, including shipping vessels, to get from one ocean to the other. The canal consists of a series of locks that go up and down or allow the water to go up and down to put the boats through. Uh, at the visitor center, it is very busy and warning to headphone users, it is very, very loud. <laughs> Colombia, France, and later the United States controlled the territory surrounding the canal during the construction. France actually began work on the canal in 1881 but stopped due to a lack of investors and mortality. The U.S. did take it over in 1904 and opened the canal in 1914. It opened the same day as when World War I began. But the canal has a lot of history. There was the yellow fever uh, endemic or pandemic and it was eventually controlled with vaccines but yes it is really impressive very cool to see it is definitely something i recommend checking out when you're in the area just know that if you go to the visitor center it is very 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 chaotic and very hot i definitely would recommend going to another place but definitely have to check it out if you're in panama and i know i didn't get to go fully into the history of the canal but you will learn more for sure if you go check it out. Hello, so I know I haven't really been vlogging the past few days. Um, I'm not sure how this vlog is going to be. Um, I have just had a very difficult time the past few days. Um, I like hesitate to talk about it, but I'm just having a lot of difficulties with my anxiety and it was something that started before this trip and then it's kind of heightened over the past few days since being here um so it's just i've had a little bit of a rough time um 
I kind of want to go home, which I don't say that very often, but I kind of want to go home, but I'm going to stick out the week here and we'll just go from there and see. Hopefully I could turn it around, but yeah, because like, I don't want to leave because I feel like in some ways that I would be disappointing myself, but at the same time, like my anxiety is this bad, am I really going to enjoy my time here? So anyway, I'm not quite sure what this, like I said, what this vlog is going to be. I might come back um, and talk maybe a little bit more about this in a few days, but right now I'm just so tired. I am emotionally and physically exhausted and um, yeah, so anyway. If this is the end of the vlog, thanks for watching. If not, I'll have some more. But um, I'm still in Panama City for another week. Uh, but I think I'm going to do the next vlog. It's going to be separated because it's going to be my Spanish school experience. So anyway, that's it. That's why this vlog kind of sucks. But if I stay here and I continue to vlog, then they'll be better. So anyway, thanks for sticking with me. And... I'll see y'all later. Hola, como estas? It is day two of my Spanish classes. Lately I've been thinking way too much Not whether I'd even call this love I'm always in my head, you're always on your phone It never seems to feel right